Monsters are real. Monsters are real. Design. Design. Seeds. So for Monsters, Inc., we created a new department called Set Dressing. And it's in set dressing that we take our empty sets and we fill them with furniture and props and all the little things that make a world look lived in. So now we'd like to introduce you to the person responsible for heading up that department, Sophie Wieselet. So I'll take you into the computer to show you how the set dressing artists take the model that are given to us by the modeling department, the architectures, the props, to put this all together into believable environments for our characters to act in. This office is now closed. So here I have an example of the sushi restaurant, and this is our working environment. This is the software we use to create these sets. And we have a camera view here that's the shot that the layout department has created. This is the shot that will be seen in the movie. But I also have this other camera here that I can use to view the sets in different angle if that's easier for me to, to view the set from for example, this angle, if I need to position some a, a detail here, a sushi, a piece of sushi on the plate, I can easily use that secondary camera to get in closer to have a better view. So I can take this sushi, and for example, if I wanted to put the sushi on its side, I could very well do that. So here's the sushi on the plate. I'd probably have to do a little bit more tweaking to get it not to intersect with the plate. That's an example. Here, perhaps, uh, we want to move the cup a little bit more screen right, so I'm going to position the secondary camera here at the top. I've had a lot of birthdays, well, not a lot of birthdays, but this is the best birthday ever. So now I want to show you. One thing that the set dressing department is also responsible for is the shader variants, different appearances. And in the set dressing department, the artists are responsible to integrate these variants into the set. Different types of metal that we could apply to the different pipes, depending on what set they were shown in. And this was all made from the single components that we saw earlier. Now let me show you some examples from the movie of pipes that were used as maybe a different way that was intended. The console in the secret lair where Randall and Fungus work is also made out of individual pieces of models we found in different sets, but mainly pipomatic. Every individual 
model that we get from the modeling department is integrated into these sets to create these environments. Say hello to the scream extractor. Hello. Come on, where you going? We'll, we'll talk. Come on, we'll have a latte. Yeah, well. Monsters have always been real. Ooh, she's nuts. Quite met a lot of it in my life. So now the truth comes out, doesn't it? I've known from the beginning monsters live on the other side of the closet. It's just a closet. Will you go to sleep? When we started getting into the story, it was it was really fun to sort of play into that notion and then immediately lurk, change it and show that monsters are in fact far more scared of kids than kids are of monsters. The kid almost touched me. She got this close to me. The kids are really, really scary because they're the source of power for the monsters. You know, if one touches you, it's all over with. A little kid getting into Monster World would be like a cylinder of pure uranium, somehow getting out of a nuclear reactor and tumbling into our world. There's nothing more toxic or deadly than a human child. I think kids can be very scary. <laughs> I think they are, but then again, I'm a parent. Kids are really scary. No! 